So I'm very pleased to be able to announce that starting today, with more trains as part of phase two of the mayor's vision, there will be a 15% service increase during peak hours coming to the Canada Line. The redevelopment of our city centre, which you see all around us, has been implemented in large part based on the introduction of the Canada Line and the reliable access to rapid transit that it provides. As a vital component of our regional transportation system, ridership projections have constantly and consistently been exceeded, and that goes back to day one when the Canada Line opened. The cars are coming in more or less on schedule and, and fully within budget. A number of the cars um, are here. They'll go through commissioning. Um, additional cars are still being manufactured and still need to be shipped. So they'll all be here by March. Then I think, as you know, Jen, then all the cars need to go through a, a commissioning period, uh, at which point then the additional service would be put out. That's when we hit the 35% capacity increase. I can't underscore enough how important it is to have the leadership of our mayor's council to make sure that we're operating with um, across the region as a regional organization improving transit service and mobility for everyone in all 23 uh, municipalities and with the funding support and policy support from the federal and provincial governments that's how we make things happen here in this region. The mayors have been working on this vision for a long time uh, and have been looking at a way in which we can enhance public transit and, and the federal government, our government, has believed that the way to do this is for us to work in partnership with cities and with provinces in order to deliver on public transit. We cannot keep building more lanes on bridges. We cannot keep building more roads in our cities. We must be able to embrace wider ranges of mobility options to keep pe people, goods and services moving throughout the region. We have to continue to look outwards into the future. That's why the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, Selena Robinson and I, are active participants in the development of Transport 2050, which will lay out a path forward for transportation in Metro Vancouver. We have a lot of work to do here, but while we are looking forward to that work, we are also doing a lot of fantastic work right here today.